Welcome to a new video. In this video, we will take a look at a special type of roots and verticals. For example, here, if we have a root inside another root, okay, and if the question is in this form, like there is a number and there is another number, and there has to be two, okay, in front of the second root here. So, we will take a look at the number that varies very inside okay here if this number which is b times c can be factored as b times c and if this number okay can be written as b plus c then the whole expression can be written as square root of b minus plus square root of c here if the sign between the roots okay negative then the result is going to be also negative if the sign between the roots is positive then the result is going to be positive also and there is one thing that we have to consider also that is let's say b is greater than c so we need to write the bigger one first why because if you write the for example let's say there is a, a minus between the roots okay for example let's say we have six minus 2 square root of 8. If you look at this question, if we factor this 8 as a multiplication of two numbers, let's say 2 times 4 is 8, right? And if we add 2 by 4, which is 6, then we got the numbers that we are looking for. So this is equal to. If you write the smallest one first, 2, and then put it inside the square, and then the bigger one second four because there is a the sign is negative so I just put the sign the sign between them negative so if you write this okay if the result is square root of two minus square root of four this is gonna be a negative number okay because this is gonna be a negative number and this is a square root the even root degree because the left side has an even root degree then there is not gonna be there the result cannot be a negative number okay let's say we have square root of x and we all know that that x has to be equal to greater than or equal to zero so we should consider this and from this point of view always okay this is not possible always write the bigger one first so square root of four minus square root of two and square root of 4 is 2, so the result is 2 minus square root of 2. Anyway, so if there is such an expression, okay, there are some criteria, certain requirements in order to write the right side in this form. What they are? Well, there has to be 2 in front of the second root, okay? It is a must. So let's take a look at our first example here. For example, we have square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 6. If you factor this 6 like 2 times 3, right? We can make it 2 times 3 is what? 6. And if we add them up, it's going to be 5. So this is equal to square, write the bigger one, which is 3, and put it inside the root. So square, square root of 3. And because the sign which is between the terms is positive or plus, so put here plus. And the second number, true, so put it inside the rule. So the result is square root of 3 plus square root of 2. You would say that you would factor this, okay, 6, like 6 times 1. This is also another case. But here if you add 6 by 1 it's not gonna be equal to 5 so you cannot consider this case if you factor that number which is 6 we have here okay and the addition of these numbers has to be equal to the first number that we have here so in this first question we have the answer as square root of 3 plus square root of 2 and let's take a look at the second case that we have on the right side. We have square root of 7 plus 2 times square root of 12 plus square root of 12 minus 2 times square root of 27. And what is the result of this? 
we see that we have two here okay and then we have two here so our first condition is satisfied that means we can factor the number that is very inside okay as we can write this number as a multiplication of two numbers and we have to consider that the sum of these two numbers has to be equal to 7 so if you factor 12 as for example 2 times 6 because 2 times 6 is 12 but if you add 2 by 6 it's not gonna be equal to 7 okay so this is not gonna work uh, how we can factor 12 well we can write 12 as 4 times 3 right because if you multiply 4 by 3 it's gonna be 12 and if you add 4 by 3 this is 7 right it is equal to the first term that we have for the first square root okay for this one we have square root of 4 and because the sign is that is between is plus so I'm gonna put here plus square root of 3 plus and we have to factor this 27 as a multiplication of two numbers so if you multiply 9 by 3 it's gonna be 27 and at the same time if you add 9 to 3 okay 9 plus 3 is 12 that means we can write the second term as square root of 9 I am always writing the bigger one first okay and the sign which is between the term the roots okay the numbers it is negative so I'm gonna put here minus square root of 3 and now this is what we have well we can open these parentheses and then write down the expressions we all know that square root of 4 is what 2 we already learned this from our previous videos so 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 9 is what 3 minus square root of 3 why because mine plus times negative is going to be negative so here if you add 2 to 3 we're going to have 5 this is positive square root of 3 this is negative square root of 3 so we can cross them out and the left over is square root of 5 so the final answer is square root of 5 in this case we have two more examples but here in these questions we see that there is no 2 what if there is no 2 in front of the second root and what we're gonna do in order to apply the method that we have learned in this video there is a must which is there has to be 2 right here right so I am putting here 2 divided by 2 so in this case in the next step I'm gonna write the expression like this 5 plus I'm gonna keep the first two inside okay and then I'm gonna put 1 divided by 2 times square root of 21 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this two okay in front of root and then I'm gonna send this 1 divided by 2 inside the root okay so this is gonna be equal to guys square root of 5 plus now there is 2 times square root of when this 1 divided by 2 comes inside then it's gonna it becomes 1 divided by 4 right because if you think 1 divided by 4 if you send it to the other side it's gonna be 1 divided by 2 so you need to follow the same thing in the reverse order okay once you send 1 divided by 2 to the inside of a root then it becomes 1 divided by 4 so it's going to be 1 divided by 4 times 21 okay then it's going to be 21 divided by 4 the root is this so and now in this case we need to factor 21 divided by 4 okay we need to write it as a multiplication of two numbers so if we can write okay uh, let's say we have 3 divided by 2 times 7 divided by 2 right if you multiply 3 divided by 2 by 7 divided by 2 then we have 21 divided by 4 so if we add 3 divided by 2 by 7 divided by 2 
and as you can see the denominators are same so we can add the numerators 3 uh, plus 7 is 10 so it's going to be 10 divided by 2 which is 5 which gives us the number that we have as a first term okay inside the root that means we can the whole expression is okay let me write it here square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 21 divided by 4 is okay square root of always I'm writing the bigger one first okay 7 divided by 2 plus square root of 3 divided by 2 and you can write this expression also as square root of 7 divided by square root of 2 okay plus square root of 3 divided by square root of 2 in roots if there is a root in the denominator then we need to get rid of that too this is the general method that is applied in the roots and radicals so how we can get rid of this square root of 2 well just multiply it by itself square root of 2 square root of 2 so square root of 2 times square root of 7 okay let me write it here square root of 14 okay divided by square root of 2 times square root of 2 which is square root of 4 which comes out as 2 plus and square root of 2 times square root of 3 which is square root of 6 okay square root of 6 divided by again we have another 2 because the denominators are the same so we just add the numerators which gives us the answer as square root of 14 plus square root of 6 divided by 2 okay this is the final answer guys this is the result of the question and now let's take a look at our last example in this video again if you factor before actually factoring these three there is a must okay which is we have to put here two once you do it you have to put here in the denominator part four okay this is what we did in our previous example so the question becomes 2 minus 2 square root of 3 over 4 and now we can factor 3 over 4 and we can write it as a multiplication of three number two numbers so 3 divided by 2 times 1 divided by 2 gives us 3 divided by 4 so the result is square root of 3 divided by 2 minus square root of 1 divided by 2 again we have square root of 3 divided by square root of 2 minus square root of 1 is what let me write it first actually square root of 1 divided by square root of 2 and again we need to get rid of the root from the denominators in order to do that I have to multiply numerators and denominators by square root of 2 and once you do it you have square root of 6 minus this is already 1 1 times 2 is 2 so square root of 2 divided by 2 and this is the final answer guys let's say you are in a test there is a, such a question and you, you solve the uh, question and you ended up this but this one is not in the option what you should do is you need to look for similar terms like for example this one and this one they are equal to each other okay but generally this one the final term we can come across this final term if there is such a question i'm planning to finish the roots and radicals topics with one more video i hope you like it guys thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the next video